Hi, welcome to Techverse. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a dual pass a prayer for your audio amplifier. Specifically, the circuit is similar to that of a count your amplifier with an output of plus or minus 50 volts. The input is 12 volts from the cam battery. The IC is the TL494. It's, ve it's a very reliable passive modulation IC which offers two feedbacks and a real time control. So here's the input capacitor. These are the power MOSFETs. Ensure that you select MOSFET which can handle at least 40 amperes. These are the output capacitors, and here you have your dual rail output. This is the power transformer. It's a ferrite cord power transformer with a core area of at least 2.5 square centimeters. The PCB looks as shown. So here is your battery input, the input capacitor, the power MOSFETs, the output capacitors the output connections, this is the feedback network, this is the power transformer, the IC and the schematic train biasing circuit. So the schematics are shown. The IC is pumped from the battery through a diode at a regulation capacitor. So the IC is configured to operate in the push pull to power range. This is done by connecting the output control pin at to pin 4, tin, which generates a logic of 5 volts. Current sensing is also offered. So the two transistors are IRF the 205. They can handle up to 100 amperes, so they should handle the designed 360 watts without a problem. Though it can be modified to handle up to 500 amperes by changing the resistance value of this. So the current sensing has made it in such a way that when there's a potential drop of 0.75 volts across the current sensing resistor. The, there will be feedback to one of the air amplifiers, and specifically it's the first one. If you look, there will be uh, 0.75 potential feedback to the non-inverting terminal pin 1, and so the air amplifier will have a high output, and the output will be disabled, so the duty cycle will be reduced to compensate for the current. So the first air amplifier is for current regulation, and the second air amplifier is for output voltage regulation. Uh, the resistor network is designed such that when there's a 2.5 volts drop across, there will be a feedback to the secondary amplifier, and this will consequently cause a compensation in the duty cycle to reduce the output voltage when it exceeds 50 volts on one of the two outputs. So, pin 14 generates 5 volts, and the two resistor networks, there is a reference of 2.5 volts for the 14 sensing and about 0.8 volts for the current regulation. So this circuit here is used as a soft start technique. So what it does is that initially the downtime pin will follow the reference voltage generated by pin 14, but as the capacitor changes, the voltage drop on the downtime control pin 4 will gradually reduce up to about 0.5 volts since it's pulled down by this one kilo resistor. So the duty cycle would be a maximum of about 95% and the downtime will be about 5%. So the two output transistors they are configured such that the open emitters will be used as the gate drive for the two output MOSFETs. So the two will be acting in complementaries of each other. So the frequency is set by this timing resistant capacitor. The formula is ready available on the data sheet. But this is the frequency formula. So with the parameter set as such, the frequency is about 45 kHz, which is adequate for this switch mode power supply. So what happens is that when E1 is high, Q2 will conduct and current to flow from the 12 volt rail group. This half primary winding and to ground. When the E2 is high, Q2 will conduct the current to flow through the other way around. This, this section here looks a snubber network which shorts the uh, any voltage spikes generated across the primary windings, and so there will be no voltage spikes on the secondary windings. The transformer turns are shown. For the primaries, there are two turns on each side, and the secondary is 60 turns on each side. So the output diodes ensure that we can handle peak current of 
up to about 5 amperes although it's recommended to 10 amperes and the reverse breakdown voltage should be at least 100 volts so the output capacitors they are 1000 watt, 1000 microfarads each so that's basically all about this simple switch multiple supply don't forget to drop a like comment if you have any suggestions or queries and most importantly don't forget to subscribe for future uploads about amazing tutorials and projects and hit the notifications icons to get notified immediately when i upload new videos thanks and have a nice time